Hi, Ed Thorne here. Today we have the Ultimate 500 Series VC8 bus compressor shootout between the SSL G Comp Mark III and the Stam Audio SA4000-5 Mark II. The Stam SA4000 is an authentic recreation of the original 1980s SSL G Series compressor gain reduction circuit which hosted DBX202 voltage controlled amplifiers. Now over the decade SSL evolved the design of the G-Comp including using that 2002 chips in parallel to lower the THD and distortion to make the circuitry cleaner. Joshua Stam, founder of Stam Audio, spent three years reverse engineering the original DBX202Cs to recreate the punchy coloured bus compressor found in the original SSL desks. And this is the result. The Stam is approximately half the price of the SSL, but it definitely doesn't sound half the price. We're going to compare these on drums, guitars and a full mix, and I'll share my thoughts at the end of the video. Now the units don't quite have the same release and ratio options, so I've used matching parameters where possible to maintain a fair comparison. I've aimed for a reduction of 4 decibels to slightly exaggerate the initial settings, starting gently, then increasing the ratio and gain reduction as I've gone up to full on signal destruction to highlight the difference in saturation between the two devices.
So it's quite evident that Stam is going for a different set of characteristics, and apparently, as I said earlier, closer to the original 80s SSL console compressors. This model SSL has a THD plus noise ratio of less than 0.03%, whereas the proprietary Stam SA202C VCA cans are proud to produce 1% saturation. Now this creates the thick and coloured low mid presence you just heard, especially the more I push the gain reduction, making it suitable for guitar and drum buses. I feel the SSL is more open and arguably more transparent across the frequency spectrum, so as a result, I dare say it's better suited to mix buses. The stam is more immediately sensitive and responsive, verging on aggressive at times where the SSL is less sensitive and needs driving harder with more makeup gain required to achieve the same effect. Now you may have noticed that the stam could be slow to react when starting again. If you notice when I swap between the two units, it sometimes took a little longer to get the full gain reduction at the higher settings, which as you've heard caught me out a couple of times and I had to tweak the uh, makeup gain to compensate. Now I'm not sure why this is, so if you have any ideas, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. I think the SSL works really well on a mix bus with gentle compression settings, providing the subtle and musical glue that it's famous for. Whereas I think the Stam wants to be driven harder and worked harder and has its place in exciting instrument buses. At half the price, the Stam is a very competitive module if you're considering a bus compressor. I've used both on mix buses and various instrument buses, and without having them side by side like this, you're very hard pushed to tell the difference if you find the sweet spots on each compressor. Now this video discusses why analog gear doesn't need to be expensive, and YouTube is going to recommend another video here. I've been Ed Thorne, it's been emotional, it's been 500. I'll see you on the next one.